Today we're going to take a look at a very simple GPA problem. Suppose that we have a spreadsheet where we've got a sequence number just to keep track of the order that we took our courses, the departments, the numbers, the course title, the credits, and the grade. If we want to figure out what our GPA or grade point average would be, somebody might just take a look at this and say, well of course this is a B, or in other words it is a 3.0. So I'll just take that 3.0, format that like so. But suppose, for instance, that we change this around and instead of having a C, a B, and an A, we had a D, a C, and an A. Now the problem becomes a little bit more difficult because we have to think about as far as, well, let's see, how much is a D worth, how much is a C worth, and how much is an A worth? Well, what we could do is figure out what the grade points are. So a D is worth one point, a C is worth two, and A is worth four points. So if I take this and get the average of these, We got a 2.333 and that's our new grade point average. So let's go back to what we had before. We said that we had a C, a B, and an A. Well a C is worth two points, a B is worth three points, and there's my 3.0. Next problem that we run into is what happens if instead of taking an MOI course, we take something like Math 117 Pre-Calculus, which is a four credit course, and we have a C in it. Well, now our grade point average really isn't a three because I've got four credits of a C versus only three of a B and three of an A. So in that case what I need to do is I need to use what are referred to as honor points. The honor points is a weighted score. So I'm going to take my grade points, multiply it by the number of credits to get a weight. Or in other words, eight total honor points. I'll copy that down for my other cells so my three credits of a B is actually worth more honor points and my three credits of an A is worth even more honor points than what we had for the, the four credit C. So what I'll do with these honor points to figure out my grade point average is I need to sum these up. So I'm going to sum up the honor points. I need to sum up oops, I need to sum up my credits and then to get my grade point average it's equal to the total honor points divided by the total number of credits a 2.9 so we can erase all the rest of this so let's try a few things out um, if we go back to our original three credits we have a total of 27 honor points, a 3.0. When I went to a D, a C, and an A, I have to change my grade points, a 1, a 2, and a 4, and we've got our 2.33. So it looks like everything's checking out, and in fact I'm probably going to extend the number of decimal places to carry that out to at least three different decimal places. A few other things that I want to do is for the credits, Depending on what your school uses for a, a credit system, you might want to display these um, where you have half credits, for example. So, um, I don't know, 0.5 credits are a possibility. But for us, we just have the fewest number of credits is just one credit. The grade points, that I would probably carry that out to at least one decimal place. And as so with the honor points. So we'll carry that out to one decimal place. So we've got a fairly simple GPA problem 
Um, it, it works out so long as we enter in our grades, change the grade points, change the credits, leave the honor points as a calculation, and everything else ends up being a calculation.